Hello, I want to welcome you to the first video of the Einscan HX beginner tutorials. These videos are made especially for customers who purchase a scanner with us or that rent an Einscan HX at 3dscanacademy.de. But of course for all the rest of you in the world who have that scanner or want to know how it is to work with this scanner, it is a possibility to get more information. We will cover from the beginning, from calibration till merging a scan and post-process it, the whole process. It will not be streamlined or especially prepared that it looks very marketing-like. It's really the process how you would have it in a customer project. So we are right now in the Einscan software. Please take the note that all what I'm going to tell you in, in the following tutorials is referring on the software version 1101. I highly re recommend to download it if you didn't already do it because it's really a big step forward. So let's start with the calibration. There is uh, people who was already mm, having uh, Einscan HD or HD two times or HD two times plus or whatever. So they will already know that the um, calibration board and the process somehow you will receive um, this plastic PVC that's on the floor right now. It will show you how that board have to be placed. Here you are positioning the board inside the cross section that's sketched and that's it. Take note that what is very important that you are having these squares that are printed inside the calibration board downside. Take care that you are not having them upside. It's shown as well in the calibration process. Sketch that is uh, mentioned there. But um, it's not so visible. Here you can see the date of the last calibration that was done. If your device is brand new, there will be written nothing. So just click on calibration. And um, for first calibration, we are start a full calibration, not a fast calibration. For all of you who are not dominating German, I'm going to switch to English. I think makes it um, easier to understand for some folks. So, okay. Um, calibration is activated. As I mentioned, there is some sketch that shows you exactly what you have to do. That arrow means that you have to start in near the calibration board and go outwards. Um, this is calibration of the um, LED scanner that we are going to do. The standard calibration is the full calibration, as I mentioned. The fast or quick calibration is for already calibrated system, but as I want to show you the maximum calibration, we are going to do this one. In the fast calibration, there is uh, in the LED um, le um, scan mode, there is missing some views that you have to do in the standard calibration. Okay, so um, most of the people are doing scanner calibration, um, putting that uh, board on the desk. I'm doing it a bit different, it's uh, yeah, my preferred version, there is no right or no wrong as long as you're doing it uh, like it is mentioned here in the sketch, that relative uh, positioning from the scanner to the board. I'm doing that because I like to sit on some office chair that have rolls and I'm going to just roll back to, to adjust the distance to the calibration board. So let's start the first view in this case. That scanner is turned to the right side. I'm going to push the button. I see the preview. Okay. And Okay, so let's start. 
I'm going to point that scanner into the middle where there is that symbol of the middle is there and I'm rolling back with my office chair and that's it. First view, second view is turn the scanner compared to the view before, uh, 45 degrees to the right as it is shown and I'm going to roll back on the chair, try to keep the middle of the calibration board in the center of the box more or less third view, nothing new now just rolling back that's it next view is turn the scanner 45 degrees to the right rolling back on the chair last view again just rolling back okay the last one wasn't perfectly centered it, it's a lot of influences that come together to this deviation so that's it next mode that we are going to calibrate is the new laser mode that was not uh, included in the previous versions what is very important in the laser mode is that you are not try to calibrate it on the side of um, the LED calibration panel so if you try to do it on that black side like it's shown here you will be able to generate some result I can show you maybe afterwards but it makes no sense the laser calibration will give you some results but it's bullshit because it was actually not made uh, for for this side there was already customers calling me that they had problems with calibration of the laser because of uh, using the wrong side uh, that was in the end the reason so really important calibrating laser in the HX is the white side of the board and the good news about it is it's absolutely fast and easy to cal calibrate the laser it's just like before putting the scanner over the calibration plate you will see the distance bar on the right side of the screen every of this distance bar fields have to be green try to go upwards from the plate as perpendicular as you can and that's it actually another important thing is that orientation of the calibration board relatively to the scanner is like shown in the sketch so keep in mind that calibrating the laser scanner the division of the board have to be perpendicular to the axis of the scanner so if not you might get into trouble calibrating last but not least is the white balance calibration of white balance is uh, nothing new for photographers um, this is important not for capturing geometry it's important for capturing colors in some more or less accurate way over the texture camera as the HX is capable in the rapid scan mode to capture texture there is some uh, white balance uh, calibration Keep in mind that mm, the white balance that have a really big influence on how colors look like if for example red looks like orange or really like red um, is depending on the light situation and the light situation is the sum of the light created um, through the scanner and the environmental light so if you are keen on capturing accurate texture with the scanner please calibrate the white balance in new environment every time new because the sunlight have different uh, color temperature uh, in, in light color um, than for example LED lights or light bulbs uh, the traditional ones so it's important in new environments recalibrate the white balance in any case so let's do it it's an easy process again keep in mind that the scanner has to be aligned in the same way like shown in the sketch go a little bit upwards and we fail actually in the HX um, there is versions of uh, 
the calibration of um, white balance that is a bit sensitive. So that's it. You have successfully calibrated the whole system. Right now you can see in the upper line of the progress uh, that you have a new date there and a new time. That means you have a um, new calibration file that's saved and stored on your device.